now to see if this is actually working. <gasps> Yay! I think it's online. Maybe. God, I hope so. They changed the way that everything is done now. So who knows? Oh my god, yeah. Great, and I still look scruffy. Sorry, I showered last night and then I just slept on my hair and I did not fix it again today. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah, my hair is just going to look like, like trash. Fantastic. <laughs> also because I had my headphones on earlier and, you know. Okay, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to, just give me a minute here. They changed everything. I, I guess there's no such thing as uh, Google Hangouts. I guess they've decided to make this as confusing as possible, so let me just grab everything up off my screen. Perfect, yeah, and I'm muted on here. Can you hear me all right? <laughs> Perfect, so yeah, so hi guys. It is the end of August. It is still the current year. <gasps> oh my gosh, and the coffee's been made. This is fantastic. I'll get some later. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so everything's new and different now. Audio's a bit low. Okay, one second. I'm running this through OBS now. That should be better. I just put it up to about 75. I, um, this is great. It, this means that I just blew, that I just ruined all the OBS settings that I finally had, the way that I liked it for my Twitch streaming. So I guess, I guess this is my life now. This is my life. <laughs> Do Canadians smell like bacon and trees? It always, it always smells like that. Hopefully that should work. Yeah, so I'm probably like 30 seconds behind in this, so hopefully that'll work. So I posted this, I guess, yesterday, and then more Ford Simulator. Um, yeah, I'm just, just going to waste a, waste a couple of seconds here. The lighting is a bit intense. Yeah, here's a... I don't even have lighting. It's actually overcast right now. That lighting is from my monitor. This is if I minimize my monitor. That's the difference it makes. This is how ridiculously pale I am. I should just set everything to night mode. <laughs> yeah, this is... I slept on this side of my head. I guess you can kind of tell. Oh well. Will you marry me? I, I just can't unless you have American citizenship. <laughs> uh, perfect. This is going to make for some fantastic screen. This is why I should just koala it. No matter what, now I don't have to do my hair. Uh, if somebody's asking if I'm going to play more Ford Simulator, I don't know. It depends on... There's like five, there's more than five different Ford simulators. I was playing the one from 1987. I wasn't doing the bacon thing because my guts stopped participating. I bought more bacon the other night. I don't, I don't have any whiskey on me, I'm sorry. I, did, I didn't, it's not necessarily a drunk stream. <laughs> um, why don't you marry a handsome Brit and get free healthcare? Because you guys also have scummy socialized healthcare over there too. How is that going to make me? How's that going to help me? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. i uh, just scroll through, see if I can find any questions. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been slightly busy this month. <laughs> so I'm sure some people have read uh, some of the interviews that I have participated in, some of the interviews and articles that have not necessarily been... It's, uh, there's been a lot of words put into my mouth, so I guess that's why it's kind of nice that I'm finally coming around and talking to you guys, saying what's up. Uh, what's new? I went to the pharmacy today. I dropped like 80 bucks at the pharmacy. That's what I. That's why I didn't want to get any whiskey because I already spent 80 bucks at the pharmacy because this is this is my sick person <laughs> uh, lifestyle. Once a month I go and spend too much money, making sure that I'm still alive. Any more ASMR? Uh, yeah, I'm. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for my next ASMR video. I'm either going to do Donald Trump tweets, but not Trump's tweets, tweets that people write about their stepdads, because I'm pretty sure that kids complaining that their stepdad is voting for Donald Trump is the funniest thing <laughs> online. Uh, or maybe I'll go and do Martin Shkreli uh, <laughs> ASMR tweets. I think that would be pretty fucking funny. <laughs> also because I don't think that Shkreli is the kind of person who would get angry at me for, you know, stealing his property. Um, I don't know, I really appreciate that guy. I appreciate anybody who uh, goes out of his way to try to cure diseases that nobody else cares about. Any updates on the girl stalking you on Twitter? Um, it was really funny. It was some woman who wrote for Dangerous Minds who started posting about me calling me an alt-right Nazi on Twitter. And then, like, she slowly realized as she looked through my channel, she's like, oh, okay, so she's 
maybe maybe she's a right winger, but there's also videos of her belly dancing and oh no, like she plays the ukulele too, maybe she's not an evil person. Um, I don't know, she can, she can go right to heck if she wants. Um, but yeah, it was some other guy in my town, I, uh, who, like, I later found out because somebody immediately doxed him and sent me his info. <laughs> I was like, oh no! Um, so somebody immediately sent me his info and I found out that he just lives a couple of streets away from me. Um, so that's, that's not very fun. He used to participate with Vice Magazine and actually I wrote, I decided to write the Very Nice People Advice because they're one of the few guys who do anything to do with investigative journalism, so I kindly wrote somebody I knew there and said, hi, this person says that he's involved with you guys and, you know, I thought that maybe because you guys are so big on the anti-harassing women online narrative that maybe your editor could talk to him. <laughs> but they wrote me back and they're like, no, we don't have any relationship with this man. So I found, I've been finding out more interesting things about him. People have been independently coming up and telling me about him. And I guess he's already got a bit of a reputation, so whatever, as long as he doesn't bother me. Opinions on No Man's Sky? I haven't played it. I watched uh, Ash shows, um, some of her, not her Let's Plays, but I watched some of her live streams. But I don't, I really don't have a unique opinion on No Man's Sky. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that video with the Jurassic Park Melodica cover, I think that was one of the funniest things I've seen in several weeks. And my favorite comedian, that's really hard to say. I, uh, there's a bunch of really, really amazing Canadian comedians. Uh, look up this guy named Jeff McHenry. He's super, super funny and adorable. Uh, yeah, Jeff McHenry, he's a really, really good comedian. You will love him, hopefully. What do you think about us Brits leaving the EU? I, mean, I, like, I think it's a good idea that you're leaving the EU, because I don't think that the EU was a good idea in the first place. I, I was talking a bit about Scottish independence this morning uh, with some people, and you know somebody pointed out quite rightly that uh, the funniest thing about the Brits, you know, voting to leave EU, and um, like he was kind of wondering out loud that it's probably a real sore spot for the English to know that they that the sun never sets on their empire, except they couldn't conquer their teeny tiny little island. Which really is funny. They they can go all over the world. They can go to, go into dozens of countries and take it on over, but they can't get rid of the Scottish people in their own country. <laughs> Bam! Your commentary on Mr. Keesian is wonderful. What's your take on SJW community as a whole? Uh, it's gonna pop eventually. Um, I think SJWism is probably more of a millennial thing, and in like the next five years, the millennials won't matter. So the millennials are slowly being taken over by people who spent more time. Uh, <laughs> you know, not caring. I think that SJWism is just sort of a lower end of the millennial scale, and I think they'll I think they'll go away after a while. <laughs> What's your favorite single malt? Uh, that's a good question. I because liquor is really expensive in Canada. I usually go for the blendeds. I I know I know, but there's nothing really there's nothing intrinsically wrong with a blended whiskey. I think of I think my favorite blended whiskey, or is it a single? I haven't gotten in a while. But uh, Beaumore, which is aged 18 years, is so fantastic. What about social justice in general? Uh, I would say that they had good intentions to start, but then they... Everybody who's really into social justice is a privileged white kid. Let's be perfectly honest about this. <laughs> They're not doing, like... I would be into social justice if I didn't actually have friends of different races and diversity standards. Because um, if you grow up and you know a lot of people who are from all these different diverse groups, you like you kind of rely on having an anti-PC attitude because it's funny. <laughs> uh, it's funny to crack jokes at all your friends from these different countries and in, in these different you know victim groups. That's kind of the point. Uh, what about Marine Le Pen? I don't know much about her. Uh, <laughs> SJWs will die out when they realize nobody wants to hire them. This is very true. Sports cars or four by fours? I don't know. Depends on your budget. <laughs> Uh, the black guy who did that hunger strike at that university is a millionaire. Oh, really? Of course he is. Like, you know, you can really only make these grand gestures when you have the money to back it up. It's more impressive when somebody makes a grand gesture and they don't have piles of money sitting in the background, or if they're not also, like, if you have a ton of money and you make a, and you go for a grand gesture, I don't think it's, you know, worth it. Uh, somebody's asking, what do you think of the crash override network leaks? Um, I think it's really important to try to figure out who leaked it. Before you start looking at everything, there has to be a reason why somebody would have leaked it. Once one of my buddies on Twitter correctly pointed out that when you're looking at the leaks, you have to be incredibly critical because, um, you know, first of all, it, it's not like the entire leaks. 
And second of all, it's like, it's also a private conversation. But third of all, whoever looks the best or like the second best in those leaks is probably the person who leaked it. Any opinion on Colin Kaepernick? Everybody else has already given an opinion on him. I don't know much about America sports. Like, <laughs> I pay more attention to, uh, what's it called? Hockey, just by virtue of being a Canadian. I'm just going to share this link again. Because Twitter keeps shadow banning me. Because uh, Twitter considers me a low quality tweeter. So unless you change your Twitter settings to uh, allow <laughs> low quality tweets in your timeline again. So I'm going to just tweet this out again. One second. Uh, I'm going to zone it for a second while I type. Yay, so I just tweeted a thing. Have you played sports before? Uh, yeah, I've played like soccer and rugby. Have you ever done belly dancing professionally? Yes. I was professionally trained and I was accepted into a dance school in Toronto like a couple months before I got sick. So that really sucked. Um, when I was in the hospital being treated for my illness, I actually had to cancel a gig at a restaurant, which kind of irritated me. But, but then after I had my ostomy, I still was able to get, you know, occasional professional engagements. So whatever. What's your favorite brand of maple syrup? I uh, don't really go for brands up here. We have like graded quality. So I think there's only like one or two grades. Um, <laughs> I think Trump can beat the polls. Look at us Brits and all the polls we aren't going to leave. Well, if you're a pollster and you're getting hired by all these lefty Democrats, uh, don't you think that you're also going to say that Hillary Clinton is going to win until like a week before the election? Because <laughs> if you start, if you're a pollster and you start saying, oh no, Trump's totally going to win, Trump's totally going to win, then you're probably not going to get hired by the lefty networks that have all the cash. Billy Dance for Harambe, that's too soon. Opinion on furries. Uh, furries are normalized. It's been 10 years since containment was breached. Um, if you're kind of a younger person on the internet, you should probably look up uh, something called B-Day, which happened August 23rd, 2006. Very important day. Uh, very historical day. It's when all the furries were mass banned from 4chan, which meant that they had to go elsewhere. They were scattered like Dragon Balls. So that's why they all ended up at places like DeviantArt. Uh, so once that containment was breached, furries were allowed everywhere, and now it's just normal. So if you want things to not be normalized, never let it leave 4chan. Or 8chan, you know, 4chan's been cut for like the last two years since Moot left, I guess. Um, you think the alt-furry, uh, like alt-right slash alt-furry, I don't really understand it. I think everybody's just playing around. Everyone is, everyone is LARPing in terms of alt-right and alt-furry and alt-this and alt-that. Why are furries so degenerate? I don't know, I can't, you know, the furries took something so, so adorable like this, like, you know, some, some lovely woman just wearing a koala house coat, and then they turned it disgusting, they just added filth on top of it. Whenever you have to use, like, the special washer settings on your clothing, then it's degenerate. <laughs> Do you prefer warmer tropical places or cold places? Um, thank you for inspiring me and other folks who have disabilities. Yay! It's fun, yeah, like, having any sort of disability sucks, but yeah, it's, it's super important whenever you have, like, a normal day and do your normal things, you can be like, yeah, I have accomplished more today than normies. Um, I, my favorite time of year is fall time in a place like Nova Scotia, because it's really nice, it's in, like, the mid-teens to low 20s, so it's, like, you know, maybe 15, 16 degrees, and there's no humidity, which is very important. Um, yeah, it's just super nice, it's not too bright out. I'm obviously very pale. I did not get any sunburns this summer. I'm really happy about that. Um, so, played football. I've never played football. I, uh, how many right-wing fitness DVDs have you sold? Not enough. Not enough. Mm. Does birth control really make women unattractive and crazy? Uh, you know, I'm like I crack jokes about that sort of thing, but it's incredibly important to remember that anytime you take a drug, be it Tylenol up to hormonal replacements, you are taking a drug. Like, do you even lift? Uh, yeah, I, I can't lift anything more than 15 pounds, though, so that's why I like yoga. So whenever you start introducing any sort of extra drug into women, uh, women physically mature faster than guys, so when you start putting hormonal birth control into women who are like 17 or 18, because what happens is you go to see your doctor when you're 17, when you're 16 or 17, and like, you know, they'll diagnose you as being basically the kind of girl who's going to go sleep around, so the doctors like to try pushing hormonal birth control on you right away. Um, and that's just, you know, it's just not good. You know, it kind of starts screwing with your brain chemistry when you shouldn't be screwing with brain chemistry. Except there is an alternate argument by Malcolm Gladwell, if you want to take, I forget what it's called. Um, Malcolm Gladwell wrote a really nice article about the guy who invented the pill. And, you know, he takes a much different view of the whole thing. 
So Gladwell kind of, in the end, says, well, women in the natural world are probably going to be pregnant for their entire lives, uh, so it's important to give women the pill because um, if you're constantly letting them have their periods all the time, which is actually maybe unnatural, it really depends on what side you're looking at. If, that, if it's unnatural for women to have their periods constantly, then that's probably what's causing things like ovarian and breast cancer, because women's bodies aren't going through the same changes as they would have a hundred years ago. Talk to your doctor. That's the end. <laughs> Prednisone does suck. Prednisone is the devil. Are you following the DeviantArt Mr. Medicare drama? Oh my... I'm dying laughing at the DeviantArt Medicare stuff. Uh, I think he's got a live stream set up with one of them a few days. I, uh, I was halfway through watching his one about, like, inflation. And, uh, and I still had it like all up on my giant screen here when one of my buddies came over to help me set up my new website. Um, like, cause he was he was trying to teach me how GitHub worked, so he came over here, and all I had was just this like giant inflation furry like pornographic thing on my screen, and I was like, I'm so sorry, this is really fun. I can't put my sword on my head. My sword's in the other room. How's the running going? Not too bad. I uh, I took a Pokemon gym last night when I was out running, so that's nice. Um, why don't people use condoms? I don't know. Why don't you ask them? I don't, I don't know how normals do it. Oh god. How much fucking lobster do you eat, you dirty Nova Scotian motherfucker? Uh, not that much lobster. Lobster keeps getting expensive. It's, uh, I don't know, lobster is kind of a trash animal anyway. I don't know why people think lobster's so goddamn fancy. It's, <laughs> lobster's a trash animal. It's a giant water bug. <laughs> Everybody else likes things like salmon. Atlantic salmon. Favorite period of history? Uh, I don't know, probably some of the ancient Egyptian dynasties are probably pretty cool. It was kind of cool when the Hyksos took over ancient Egypt. Um, I don't know, Fall of Rome was really interesting. Don't know what the hell happened there. The, uh, I think the Fall of Rome, I need to read more about the Fall of Rome. It's an interesting, it's a really bizarre concept that uh, people think that when the Goths and you know the barbarians and the Celts took over uh, Rome, that that's when it went to hell. But that's actually just letting Germans in, and, you know, sometimes Germans will mess you up if you let them into your city, but uh, the Germans actually have a pretty good reputation for running stuff and not running it into the ground, so I don't quite buy the idea that all the, uh, the Germans came down and then just went the city, let the city go straight to hell. There's, uh, there's some pretty decent evidence suggesting that it may have been, say, you know, Islamic people coming in and ruining stuff because you know may maybe that's what happens. Tell us an embarrassing story. I've already I've sold all my embarrassing stories. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take a look. That this hoodie thing is the most comfortable thing ever. It's really really warm though. Yeah, the damn Germans. So yeah, if you ever want to really piss people off, tell them that uh, when the Germans took over Rome, that's not when Rome went to hell. Generally, if you let Germans into an area, again, they will, maybe they'll mess you up, depending on what time, time of history it is, but generally it's not the Germans who let stuff go to hell. What do you think of Keemstar? I don't know, I kind of like his desk. <laughs> That's it. That's my thought on Keemstar. He has a nice desk. Thank you. It's hard to give an accurate reason for the fall of the Roman Empire. A lot of it was just systems collapse, as societies crumble, but why? You can't just use the things fall apart argument all the time. Like, uh, shit changes, but you can't always just say, well, this changed and disappeared for centuries. <laughs> um, oh no, do your best Hillary Clinton impression. I can't, it's, n it's not nice to make fun of people who get seizures all the time. <laughs> Somebody asks, can you even? Sometimes I can. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I can. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that it's fall time, because it's going to continue to be sweater weather, etc. Sweater weather and house coat weather. I love this sort of thing. Furries ruined adorable anthropomorphizations of house coats. Have you read The Decline and Fall? Uh, no, because Edward Gibbon is just a stupid anti... I guess he couldn't have been anti-capitalist at the time he was writing. Edward Gibbon was like an anti... He wouldn't... Have <sighs> he was a hippie socialist. If you were around today, Edward Gibbon would be like a... Oh, who's that guy? Vin or Vim or something, uh, you know, you can't can't afford to be neutral on a moving train, that guy. Howard Zinn! Edward Gibbon is just like an old-school Howard Zinn, just totally wrong history all the time. He's a rang. He's, he's also a filthy atheist, you can't trust him. Didn't the Canon Channel call it Extra Credits do a whole series on how the Roman... Eh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the cost of expanding the empire caused him to overexpand. Essentially, their economy depended on fresh conquest, and they ran out of land with ample wealth to conquer and loot. 
I don't know, that seems a little, I don't know, it seems a bit simplistic. But, uh, I guess it's not really an RTS. How many dead hookers does it take to change a light bulb? Oh god. Sing happy birthday, Mr. President. No, you had to pay me for that. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at uh, the twatters, see if there's anything there. What is all happening here? Same on Facebook, almost nothing. Because I almost never check my Facebook. I deleted the Facebook app off my phone. It's a, it's a miserable app. Just scream and shriek like a malformed fetus. Neil impersonate Hillary Clinton with perfection. Oh no, that sounds horrific. But some of the neighbors might hear and call 911. Did you know you're the queen of pole? Pole has no queens. I reject that concept outright. Uh, as an alt-right icon, <laughs> what? I'm, uh, I, I'd be the worst alt-right icon. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. You know, I should probably, I should stop telling lefties that I'm not alt-right and just kind of roll with it and just everybody who is alt-right can just laugh that I'm taking all the heat for them. I, I, damn, I made a mistake. I should have kept lying to the left and told them that I was alt-right. I shouldn't have told them that I was conservative. Damn it. That's, that would have been really funny and then people, like, but I don't really want to uh, start entering myself into some kind of Sam Hyde situation. <laughs> I'll donate to your Patreon if you donate to my GoFundMe. Depends. How many good boy points do you have? Um, I don't know, that reminds me, I forgot to buy chicken at the store the other day. Did you watch the hip concert? Yes, I did. Justin Trudeau or a pile of shit? I, yeah. I don't know, oh, Trudeau. I have like a week until I have to start caring about politics again, and then I'll start caring about politics again. Trudeau sucks though. He just, he hates Canada. Trudeau grew up as the kid who's always had everything he's ever wanted and everybody's always clapped for him even if he's been doing dumb things. He's had too much positive reinforcement. You didn't get the tendies for you. <laughs> Why are you a hoodlum? Just because I'm wearing a hood doesn't make me a hoodlum. What is your music? Uh, a lot of music. I've been listening, I've been re-exploring a lot of the, uh, the old hip-hop, she said, in the whitest way possible. The underground kings are pretty goddamn cool. Uh, do you start putting the TP on the right way? No, I refuse. <laughs> uh, be all right. Just laugh when the lefties call you a Nazi because of all socialism. Yeah, uh, why do um, lefties are so sensitive about the fact that Nazi literally means socialist? Literally socialism. <laughs> What's your fave Shrek movie? All of them. My favorite Shrek movie is uh, just like the two minutes where they have that All Star song. Trump spoke with a Mexican president today. Oh, really? God, I hope that he just rolled in with a Maharachi band. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, oh hey Nima, I didn't realize it was you. Uh, you follow me on Twitter, and we're Facebook friends. You do have about 12 good boy points, this is correct. <laughs> what do you think of all these articles calling uh, Gamergate part of the alt-right and the creators of the alt? Um, I think it's hilarious that this is how little they understand about everybody who isn't them. <laughs> they just... They ran out of things so quickly. They just have to call everybody a Nazi. What's your favorite Rambo movie? Uh, First Blood, Oz. That was filmed in uh, British Columbia. Super cool, man. First Blood is a pretty good movie. Uh, it still gets me right in the feels right at the end there. Get the Space Jam album classic 90s hip hop. I have Space Jam on DVD. Oh, I think it's downstairs right now though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Margaret, how much do you love Trump on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, I'd like to make that scale 10 feet taller. <laughs> so the scale of how much I love Trump is always 10 feet taller. Uh, what do you think of the PewDiePie being an ISIS member? Uh, I think that it's terrible that we've all been duped by this screaming man. Uh, I don't think PewDiePie gives too much of a damn. I'm pretty sure he has like millions of dollars. <laughs> uh, what do you think about MGTOW? I you know how whenever you first hear of a movement, you're probably hearing about the worst aspects of it? Uh, MGTOW has terrible PR. <laughs> That's my opinion on MGTOW. MGTOW has awful PR. When can we see you belly dance? I'll probably film something again in the next few days. What other countries have you visited? Uh, just America. I don't really travel that often. I, you know, I wasn't one of those, you know, rich kids growing up, uh, you know, taking fancy vacations all the time. What do you think about Paul Elam? I think it's hilarious that he goes by mail backwards. He can do whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Vox Day? I really like his wife. Uh, I don't know, I know... 
yeah, like it's, it's hard to really comment. I don't know him very well. I haven't read his books. I, and I still don't entirely understand the rabbit puppies thing. Um, would you show your feet on camera right now? No. What jobs did you have as a teenager? Mostly like retail and reception and restaurant work. Super, super standard. Uh, I don't know, everything's going. Yeah, yeah, Nemo, you have at least 50. Let's put you up to 62 good boy points. Have you chatted with any of the other YouTube anti gems? What is an anti gem? What are some cool things in Nova Scotia? Um, what, if you ever visit Nova Scotia, what you should do is just go to one of the bars where there's a whole bunch of local people and look like a tourist because then you'll be basically, everyone will kind of glom onto you and want to show you to their parts of Nova Scotia. Uh, the fun things about Nova Scotia are making friends. So just show up uh, and look like a tourist. <laughs> That's all that matters. Uh, do you have Lauren Southern's number? I'm not going to give you her number. <laughs> Uh, it's any reason to visit Nova Scotia. Only if you ever visit Nova Scotia, do it with like a week booked off and just be super friendly. Uh, how do I cash in these good boy points? Well, I forgot to get chicken, so I can't give you any attendees. Do a blonde cast with Lauren. Well, she just moved, so it's uh, you know, she needs she needs some time. I don't think she has any furniture yet. I told her that she should really consider just getting a PO box and just tweeting a photo of her apartment that has no furniture in it and just being like, please, somebody send me a rug or a chair or something. Uh, is, it, is it exhausting that half your audience is horny teenage internet kids? <laughs> Weren't we all at some point? Uh, are Canadians really friendly or is it a meme? Canadians are only really friendly because we all know each other and we don't want to piss off somebody that we know. How long ago did you get an ostomy bag? Almost three years now. Hmm. Have you ever studied a martial art? Uh, no, but I know just enough. I know how to stab people. That's about it. Uh, who are the worst people in Nova Scotia and how can I make friends with them? You know... You know how there's just one character in South Park's Canada, like Scott, and he's just a dick? There's, like, there's only like two or three people in Nova Scotia who are actual dicks that you never want to hang out with. Who's your favorite YouTuber? That's a really good question. I was, uh, I don't know, I was watching some John Tron stuff today, but, uh, uh it's too bad, because I just kind of like him just playing video games, you know, I guess. When did you leave the game, Grumps? I forget. Um, I don't know, a lot of YouTube stuff is so high quality. I'm just gonna say Mr. Medicar. I think that Mr. Medicar ha has the, uh, he's able to do everything that YouTube is able to do best. But there's so many people who do particular things. Uh, would you attend any men's rights conference by a voice for men? Why the hell not? Uh, if nobody else will have me at their conference. I don't really, I don't really get this thing where people will boycott stuff. Like, if I, if I show up somewhere, it doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with everything that they're saying. And if I don't show up, it doesn't mean that I don't agree with everything you're saying. But, um, is Scotland the poor man's Ireland? I'm gonna say yes. Uh, how do you think about Sargon being a dirty pink Okami? Uh, he needs to come back home. Come back home, Sargon. Come home. <laughs> uh, John Tron leaving games drums. This is stuff conspiracy and epic internet lore. I still don't really understand what happened. Uh, I don't know, all these newfangled YouTubers with their stuff. I, don't know, I just like... Angry Video Game Nerd is also really cool. That's super cool. Uh, what do you think of St. John's? Is it a cool island? Uh, yes, I'm gonna say yes. Well, like, Newfoundland is cool. But whatever. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna take a look at my tweets for a second. Yeah, I'm not getting very much, uh, not getting much here on the Twitters. That's really sad. Why, is everybody still at work or something? Can you send me some Timbits and a double-double? I went to Tim's at like 12.30 last night. It was funny, I was like walking to Tim Hortons and all these kids were going out to bars and I'm just like wearing a hoodie, just being like, I just really want a sandwich. <laughs> like, I just want a sandwich and a donut. Everybody go away. And then I got off, I kind of wandered off because my Pokemon Go said that there was a Snorlax nearby, but then I couldn't find him and I was pretty sad. Why you know, subscribe to my channel. Just, you have to tweet the stuff at me or else I'll completely forget. Uh, I'd be a YouTuber, but I annoy myself, so I don't imagine I'd be successful. I don't know. Why would I have a favorite strand of marijuana? <laughs> kind of a hippie do you think I am? Uh, have you watched the Goku v Superman videos? No. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What's happening? Uh, yeah, what's uh, what's Trumpin' up to lately? Trumpin' around. Um, yeah, like, good old Trump, he's definitely a living, breathing First Amendment. He's, he's just a New Yorker. <laughs> what are your thoughts on, uh, Total Biscuit using Gigi to push ethics and ethics only? 
here's my thoughts about any sort of a group. Uh, well, not really my thoughts because I was reading a book today about uh, conservation and ethics and stuff like that. Uh, and I started wondering whether or not Gamergate kind of suffered from like the tragedy of the commons where nobody was allowed to own it and anybody who went in and tried to do something uh, like proactive or interesting or anybody who would go in and try to make a name for themselves was just kicked out by all kinds of people who started, you know, basically having tantrums at the fact that you're coming over here and, oh, this is a leaderless movement, rah, rah, rah. But now nobody is allowed to own Gamergate, which means nobody's giving a damn about it anymore. So you know what, if everyone's gonna sit around and, uh, you know, gatekeep for Gamergate, they can just let that commons go straight to hell. Um, so I don't care, do Gamergate- Gamergate was the Zoe post. I thought Gamergate was over like five days after the Zoe post, two years ago. <laughs> I didn't realize it had kept going uh, until like a few months later when I started following it on Twitter. Uh, oh yeah, I saw that, the, uh, the leak streams got pulled down, but I never listened to the leak streams, so I don't really know what's happening. Uh, what do you think of Theresa May? I have no thoughts on Theresa May. What do you like more, dogs or cats? I'm a dog person. Nothing wrong with kitties, but what is your favorite TV series? Um, well, I've been watching Stranger Things. That is super cool. Uh, I guess I'm probably gonna have to say Star Trek as a whole. You know, even though when you go back and watch it, you're like, oh, maybe this isn't a great TV show. Whatever, whatever. Is Zoe Quinn a bad person? Yes. This, this whole thing never would have happened if Zoe Quinn was a good person. Alt-right is how Gamergate should have been. Who cares about PR? Just attack, attack, attack. Well, if you sit around and start apologizing for stuff and start caring about PR and start caring about who's in your group, oh, because someone you might not like that, the second that you care about being disinvited from parties or other people making, forming an opinion on you, then you have trouble. Uh, have you considered acting in a TV show? In a CW TV show? No. You'd be the worst actress. Even though I'm like, even though I'm Tiny, I'd still probably have to lose 20 pounds before anyone would let me on TV. Thoughts on Mr. Repsion's video? I don't know who that guy is. I saw him tweet today something or other. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Have you watched Fringe? No. Who do you think's better at debating, Lauren Southern or Milo? I, I don't know. It depends on who they're debating and what they're debating. It really depends. Uh, Uh, Milo doesn't debate, yeah, pretty much. Well, if you just go in there and kind of mow people down with facts, they don't know which one to argue against. So if you're going to debate somebody, just go in there and throw 30 different things at their face, and they're just like, hey, wait a second, we've gone completely off topic right now. Have you met any anti-SJWs in real life? I don't really know what that means. What is an anti-SJW? Everybody gets so balled up in these terms. It's silly. Everybody just calm the hell down. Uh, have you been on Loud with Crowder yet? Uh, no. It's, I, don't, I don't know what I'd talk about with him. Are you sitting on the floor or what? Yes, I prefer to sit on the floor. I'm actually kind of annoyed. I'm building a new computer. I have like a tower and a MOBO right now, and I'm just slowly picking up pieces for it. And, uh, what, yeah, and I'm kind of annoyed. I prefer to sit down for everything, but because I'm getting like an actual computer and not just my laptop with an external, then I'm actually going to have to go and buy a desk. I got rid of my last desk like a year or two ago, and I got rid of my computer chair then. Uh, so I'm really mad, so I'm having to go and get new ones. Uh, I'm probably going to go for a, um, an i7. But I'll take a look at the AMDs. Okay, okay, okay. If, if I'm going to be spending hundreds of dollars on a CPU, may as well take a look. Will you make more videos fighting against SJWs? Uh, if you, that would be preaching to the choir. This is the problem with the SJWs. Uh, like, I can make all kinds of videos making fun of them, but it'll only be watched by people who already agree with me. So it would just be, like, self-masturbatory and be like, oh, aren't we so much smarter than all these people? It's like, uh, it's like everybody who makes videos about atheism on YouTube, that is not intended for a theist audience at all. That's just for other atheists to sit around and jack off about how much smarter they are. Uh, if you already have a MOBA, you're stuck with what it supports, unless it's free. Uh, no, it's a pretty decent one. I'll pull it up. I think it supports a few different things. Um, which one did I get? I got one, I'm pretty sure I got one that could have... Yeah, it's the MSI Z170A. So yeah, I can uh, pretty much go with everything. Uh, but I only have one socket. Yeah, I understand. 
Um, sorghum jerks are the worst. Um, well, yeah, well, what I did when I first decided on my build, I went to PC Part Picker and I just put down a list of everything that I wanted on my computer and I made sure it all worked out well. And then I just saved that list as like my Amazon wish list and I'm slowly like adding to pieces on that. Um, see, um, let's have an echo chamber complaining about echo chambers. Yeah, this is why I don't sit around and bitch and moan about it too often unless somebody comes onto the stream and asks about it. So, uh, you, you know, you can actually do a lot more for anti-SJWism if uh, you take up hobbies that bring you around people that believe in that sort of thing and you represent the normal person in that group. Hey. Uh, Margaret, what do you think it was about feminism as a whole or do you think it was a necessary movement at one point? Uh, well, it's been hijacked. <laughs> Uh, you know, feminism used to be about things like, hey, maybe it should be okay for women to wear pants in public, and, you know, it's, it, it is really hard. It's been kind of a slow process anyway. Uh, everything that feminism achieved is pretty much due to World War One and World War Two, when all the men started dying and having to go away. Uh, so feminism is a direct result of those conflicts, to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, it's not as if there haven't been people like Queen Elizabeth of England who, you know, own land and things like that. It's not as if women were just completely trampled in. Like, I wouldn't, I would rather be a woman in the 16th century England than I would, it, it's better to be a woman in the 16th century England than it would be to be in modern day Saudi Arabia. Let's put it like that. Um, what else, what else, what else? Re-feminism. Um, I don't know. I think that, um, you know, once you finish doing something, what do you do? <laughs> Uh, do you know what second life is? Oh my, I've so many times I've considered just giving up on my first life and just going for second life. Uh, I know that they're all a bunch of like filthy polygon people, but uh, Griffin McElroy makes some really fantastic second life videos. They're, they're very funny. Um, <laughs> uh, do -do -do. Thoughts and ASMR videos? They don't give me a reaction, so I just kind of use them for satire. I think it's funny. <laughs> Even though satire is a really cheap way of uh, making a point. Oh well. Let's see what else is new here. Will you be getting a VR set? No, I'd probably go blind. Uh, will you get a Twitch social eating channel? Well, it would just be me just struggling to eat. <laughs> like, I don't know how much fun that is. I thought you're supposed to eat on social eating channels. Not just like sit down with one box of takeout and having to take naps halfway through it and then coming back to it the next day. <laughs> um, top five favorite inventions? I don't know, probably a washing machine, probably insulin or something. I don't know, penicillin. <laughs> Do you have my teeth? No. Do you ever do porn? With liberal lunacy, I would never do porn. Why do you refuse to own chairs? I don't like chairs, they're weird. Well, like, I'm short, so whenever I'm in a chair, I'm always like, meh, like this, trying to use my desk anyway, so I just prefer chairs. What's your least favorite video game? I, the standard answer for that is probably going to be E.T. on Atari, which I have played. And, um, you know how bad games are fun to play? That game is not fun to play. It was really miserable and confusing and sad. Get a low desk. I've been looking for one. But uh, there's not even an Ikea in my province. Like, they're still building one. We haven't had an Ikea for 20 years. This is how backwards my province is. There's l literally not even an Ikea. I'm 5'2", depression quest. Oh god. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> Do you prefer a booster chair? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely in like the lower, lower percentile of height. So nothing ever works for me. Get a stand-up desk? I don't know, that's also for hippies. I was just taking a look around. Are you a woman lit? That doesn't work for women. I'm pretty strong, damn it. Uh, does Leia count as a Disney princess? I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I grew up with like Star Wars Monopoly. Um, so I've always kind of, Star Wars has always been there. Um, I guess I would have been like when the first, it was 97 when the first of the Star Wars is, is that we don't talk about came out, right? I think. Uh, what's your best Star Trek episode? The Enterprise Incident. 
The Enterprise Incident is the best Star Trek episode ever made. Do you think Milo will fix his privilege grant, privilege grant F up? I don't know. It takes, uh, it takes, according to Google, it takes like 30 days for charity paperwork to even get, start to go through. Um, I'm gonna say at this point, because we haven't seen any more paperwork, nobody's going, I don't think anybody's gonna be getting money for that in January 2017. It's just, there's just so much work involved, you know. Greatest of all times, wireless keyboard and tower hooked to TV. This is true. Opinion on WikiLeaks? I have no opinions on WikiLeaks, except I really like that subtle nod that what's-his-name gave. <laughs> Are you considering a professional Twitch career? Attractive, charming, can talk for hours. I reckon you can make a decent living. I would love that, if, but, uh, but I'm pathetic, so I would just end up playing DOS games all the time. So if I could just play DOS games for like six hours a day, I'd be like the happiest fucking duck in the world. It'd be amazing. <laughs> Thanks for answering questions. All right, see you. Who's your favorite writer of all time? What do you think of Ann Coulter? Everybody who hates Ann Coulter only ever sees her media appearances or her tweets. Uh, if you read her actual books, like one third of her book is just footnotes. It's she's a fantastic book writer. Like the Ann Coulter that you see on TV and in media and on Twitter is so different from what is actually in her books. You absolutely have to read her books. They're fantastic. Um, it's hard to say who my favorite writer of all time is. I don't know. Can I just like be a loser and say J.R. or Tolkien? Is that is that bad? If you Twitch stream, you must put shoe on head. No, that is an old meme. <laughs> Can you skate backwards? No. I have no... For I have no mouth, and I must meme. By the way, you should start a belly dancing con if one doesn't already exist. Like a, like a convention? There's already like a million of those. There's one in uh, going on to Virginia in January that I really, really, really want to go to. For some reason, the tickets aren't sold out, but it has some amazing dancers attending, so I kind of want to go. Um... Uh, you can make an audience playing DOS games. I think it's a market that is yet to be tapped. God, I hope so, because it'll just be me. It'll just <laughs> I've been working on it for a while. A uh, like a parody song of um, like a parody song that's basically a Twitch girl singing to me dressed up in Mercy cosplay. Uh, so it'd basically be laughing at the fact that Twitch girls are, are are always wearing basically stuff like this, except a lot tighter and like lower with like huge eye makeup and shit like that. Uh, have you ever met Ben Shapiro? Uh, people that I've talked to have definitely agree that he's a very short person, but no, I've never met Shapiro. I think you look like Megan Reed. I haven't played any of the Deus Exes. But, uh, hey, what was happening with, uh, the new Deus Ex that came out? I heard that people were having a lot of problems. At least, like, there were some things on Steam that really, really had to be patched up. How's the bacon diet going? I bought bacon yesterday. Bacon's fucking delicious. Well, what are you going for as Halloween this year? I was thinking about that today, and I can't decide yet. Uh, it would just be so cheap if I went as Donald Trump. I'd be able to do it, obviously. I'd, sexy Trump. Yeah, I could do that. It'd be sexy Trump. Uh, you listen to the Honey Badgers? Sometimes. I usually miss their streams. Uh, Og Lives Matter. Would you be interested in trying the HTC Vive? I think that would be hilarious. I'd love to try all these new hilarious things. But, uh, but new technology is strange and confusing to me. <laughs> when I get new technology, I'm just like, okay, Let's try to make the internet go even faster, and then I'm gonna go uh, play some DOS games on it. Uh, microtransactions. You can pay to win the game, literally, you just had to level up points. Oh, oh yeah, that's the problem with Deus Ex. Uh, and what is it? And when you buy stuff from like the day, from the store, or like, when you get the DLC for Deus Ex, if you start a new game, it no longer counts, which is a jip. What do you think about Blonde in the Belly of the Beast? I don't know. I've never heard of that before. Do you ever read Heat Street? Heat Street has been getting better. It was an, it was an incredible disappointment at first, but I think that they're doing a really good job of pissing off Breitbart, which is kind of funny. Hi, am I late? No. You're right on time. Just like a wizard. It's Halloween soon. Have you seen a ghost? Oh my god, I hope so. Can I just be... I just want to be a sexy ghost. Have you ever seen those sexy ghost costumes? You just wear a sheet and then you wear like a bikini over top. Fuck, I wish Halloween was all week. Like, it's so hard to come up with one thing for Halloween, because I'd I'd rather have seven things for Halloween. Have you ever called someone a conservative? No. <laughs> what do you think about Hillary Clinton? Eh, I... My thoughts about Hillary Clinton are just, no, get rid of her. A burka. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have an HTC Vive in Dartmouth, but then I had to go all the way over to Dartmouth. That's terrible. <laughs> um... Oh, if you live in Dartmouth, if you stream or anything, send me like a DM or an email or something, because 
I've been getting in contact with local streamers and vloggers because we're trying to get like a bit of a social group together. Because uh, cause we do have a, a nerd convention here, but it really doesn't... Nothing at our local nerd convention has anything for people who make online videos. So we were, me and one of my friends and a few other people were kind of thinking that we might want to start our own teeny tiny little convention for people who are vlogging and twitching and stuff. Um, Let's see, uh, will Doctor Who be good again now that Moffat is leaving? <gasps> Moffat is leaving Doctor Who? Oh my god, I stopped watching uh, when the Scottish guy- uh, Buddy's such a great actor, but I had to stop watching it because it was just so- it was shallow and pedantic. <laughs> On the first day of Halloween, my true love wore for me a sexy ghost costume. Uh, is that Vice Journal still bothering you? No, I think I scared him because I think that uh, he figured out that I was able to figure out where he lived. Belly dancing furries? No, no, that is not God. That is that is a false God. What would you get, my What would you get everybody for Christmas? I don't know. I don't. I don't really watch. I only watch Lauren's stuff. I don't really watch. Like I think I've talked to Teal Deer once or twice, and like I'll listen to Sargon's live streams. But like I don't. I don't know. Everybody gets whiskey. How about that? I don't watch June's videos either, though. I apologize. What's your ethnicity? Scottish. Scotch. Yep. I'm running out of things to do in my little call outfit, but this seems comfy. I should probably drink some water because I keep talking. You don't watch Sargon of Picard? Uh, one of the reasons why I don't, I try not to watch, I love watching people's live streams, I try not to watch their videos, uh, partly because I don't want to end up accidentally copying their stuff, and if somebody, then I'll get Lauren some vodka, uh, and if you know, if somebody uh, accuses me of stealing somebody's idea, I want to be able to go back and say, well, no, I've never actually seen that video, so. Even the cup is bigger than me. Oh my god, the cup is as big as mine. <laughs> I'm tiny. Safety from what? Feminism? No. Breaking your neck. Sexy ghost costume is a bikini and white. Yeah, no, a sexy ghost costume is just a sheet with uh, a bikini over top. What do you think of our golden emperor, Donald Trump? Um, the only real problems that I have with Trump are, uh, well, a lot of his trade deals might fuck with Canada. <laughs> so, Because huh. uh, we negotiated a lot of these like, kind of sweetheart deals in the last little while. And um, I don't know if you remember, about like 10 plus years ago, we had a bunch of trouble with um, softwood lumber disputes. So that may come up again. Uh, that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, he's not very good with things like free speech. He's actually terrible on free speech. But you're either going to vote for Trump or you're going to vote for Hillary, so it's I'm, I, I go for Trump. <laughs> Would you attend an anti-SJW Christmas party with all the big name anti-SJWs on Twitter, on YouTube? What is an anti-SJW? Just somebody who complains about them? Like, I think I'm one of those people who complains about SJWs. Um, I think, like... Anti-SJW. I think it's only possible to be an effective anti-SJW if you actually hang out with SJWs and not just like keyboard warrior about them. I think you actually have to have lefty SJW friends to do anything. Pterodactyl porn exists? Why did you tell me that? I didn't have to know. I did not have to know. Favorite alcoholic drink? Um, when I can afford it, scotch. If I don't really know what's there, I'll get maybe like a gin and tonic. Uh, Oh my gosh, I was at, I went out to meet some friends on Saturday, and we were like 10 years older than everyone else in the bar, and, you know, I just got myself a glass of wine, they're like, oh, like, 250 for like, you know, a double glass, I'm like, okay, and they just gave me this, literally like, filled the brim glass of wine, and I was like, this is too much for me. Uh, so I guess, I guess I'm kind of picky with wines, it was like this really blah, blah uh, Shiraz that they gave me. What about atheism is unstoppable? I don't care about what the- I honestly don't care about what all the atheism drama is. There's no such thing as Gamergate drama, it's atheism drama. There's no such thing as anti-SJW drama, it's atheism drama. Every last bit of drama you find on the internet has to do with atheists fighting over- fighting amongst themselves because they agree on atheism, they don't agree with other stuff, and they all just start freaking out at each other. Should men talk to women wearing headphones? Uh, do not talk to women wearing headphones unless she's about to, uh, you know, walk out into traffic. Then you should probably scream at her. It's SJW drama. No, there's all the drama on the internet. It's just atheists. Take a look. You're never gonna find a whole bunch of theists, like, yelling back and forth at each other. 
YouTube atheism is the worst thing in the world. It, it's just a cancer upon YouTube. Do you know what Rule 34 is? Of course I do. My god. I've been on the internet for a very long time. <laughs> check Twitters. He's talking to a woman wearing a headphones rape. Uh, probably in some cities, some jurisdictions. I don't, I don't care about Steve Shives. I don't give a fuck about any of these atheists. I really don't. It's, he's got his stupid little drama. He can do whatever the hell he wants. He has nothing to do with me. What about Dean? I don't really care what Dean is going on. I, like, I've talked to him once or twice. Everybody just piles on to him for, I know, the Mr. Medica stream was hilarious. Are you blocked by Steve Shives? I don't know who that guy is. He's just some random atheist that the atheists freak out of it. Uh, SJWs are never theists unless some Muslim, and then they're bullshitting. This is true. Uh, do people seriously expect mercy players to chase them around, giving them heals? Yes, everybody who's flanking expects mercy to go out of her gosh darn way and uh, heal them up too, even though. You know, if you're a Widowmaker and you need healing, uh, or if you're Genji and you need healing, if you have mercy attached to you, then you have this gigantic, like, fuzzy orange thing around you that's telling everybody, hey, there's a flanker over here. So that's what those little, uh, like, timed, like, uh, health boxes are for, or whatever they're called. Uh, what do you think people need to do to kill feminism? I don't know, well, you don't have to kill it, it's done. Yes, I am PC Master Race. Would you ever cosplay as Mercy? Yes, I've been, I, this has been the longest summer for cosplay. A lot of my stuff... Uh, it's been overcast pretty much all summer, and like uh, my front part of my Mercy costume, uh, when I first put it on, it started to break a bit, and I had to use like a rubber cement on top of it, which had to be dried outside, and it took about 20 days, because uh, there was so little sun of me just putting it outside. And um, actually right now my Mercy gun is at one of my friend's houses, I need to pick that up at some point. Uh, is Overwatch with it? Yes. I don't know, but then they changed what with it is. You just keep sending me Simpsons quotes. Now I understand. <laughs> uh, is that a Toro rope? No, it's just a koala. It's a drop bear. What is the worst curse word you use? And you sh I shouldn't be using the words of curse. How how awful does my hair look right now? Pretty awful. What else? Would you ever cosplay as a strong-willed Marilyn Monroe? I just, yeah, why the hell not? I'd, I'd love to have a white dress. I think that'd be really, really fun. I don't know where to get one, though. Favorite hockey team? Uh, I'm required by law and birth to say that it's the Maple Leafs. Koalas out for Harambe. Um, what's the one thing you and Southern disagree on that would maybe have a debate on? I don't know. You don't really, I've, I've never really had a cause to figure out what I disagree with her on, so. What do you think about Quinn trying to mess with Leona Kersner's career? Um, like, I'm not a Liana fan, but Liana is really good at doing her own thing and not really trying to mess up anybody else's things. So you kind of have to go out of your way to start screwing with Liana K. Like, uh, if you don't like her, she doesn't freak out about it. It's, like, she, she has her own life to live and, like, her own things to do. So I think it is really trashy that uh, somebody would go after Liana, because you have to go out of your way to go after Liana. She just does her own thing. She doesn't give a fuck. Uh, opinion on mood aside, how, uh, yeah, a lot of the Canadians are like that, like, you don't, it's kind of like me, because there's just no point in just being angry at me all the time, because, like, I don't, I don't really care that much, um, uh, who's the original Canadian Bay? I don't know, um, I've seen the video Lauren posted a few days ago with the Lyft driver, no, I didn't watch the video, I've been really, really busy. That's one of the problems about just trying to make stuff all the time. It means that I'm either filming something or my computer is just like super bricked uh, trying to render something. Um, so one thing you and Southern have in common that you might make out over. Vodka? <laughs> Worst kind of Canadians. The Quebecois. Uh, have you ever watched Ruben's videos in the alt-right yet? No, I don't care about what Ruben has to say about the alt-right. I know people in the alt-right. If I want to know what the alt-right is talking about, I talk to somebody in the alt-right. And a lot of the people in the alt-right have an incredibly clear idea about what Trump is doing right now. So, uh, did you ever watch the Sailor Moon Crystal? I did not start watching Crystal. I watched a lot of the new dubs that they had, but I haven't seen new Crystal. The artwork is kind of strange. Um, what do you think about Guinan on The View? She has no eyebrows. <laughs> Uh, you look like the chick from Mr. Brightside music video. I actually really like that video. Do I? Uh, I would have to really whiten myself up a bit, but that that video actually is uh, probably one of my favorite makeup 
uh, videos ever done. The makeup in that video was absolutely amazing, and I love the makeup that they did on that woman. What do you think of the Dirty French? Uh, the Dirty French are the only people that I'm racist against. <laughs> Thoughts on miscegenation? I, I can't even pronounce that right. These are how, that's how lowly I think about um, people who think that it's a problem. Marry who you want. When are you getting married? I don't know. When somebody decides that I'm worth marrying. <laughs> Have you ever smoked crystal? No, that's a bad idea. Um, have you seen the cringy Clinton Pokemon Go video? I've seen bits of it. I don't have the end, like, I just don't watch enough. Um, have you considered playing North and South on your game streams? Ooh, what's that? Is it a Steam game or is that an old DOS thing? I'm gonna look it up. Thoughts on Steve Shies? I have no thoughts on him. He does his own thing. I don't give a fuck about what the atheists are doing. No, I'm not going to say the N word on the stream right now. Uh, what's one show that's your guilty pleasure that you're embarrassed to like? I've been watching uh, really terrible stuff on Netflix. What is it? Like The Magician's Secret or something like that? It's fantastic and it's embarrassing. Um, how many Canadians does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. <laughs> uh, is the metric system a French plot to take over the world by fucking up measurements? Uh, I think that the metric system was a mistake. It doesn't make any sense. Um, for practical applications, it does not make sense. It's a good scientific measure, but, um, and it also really end up, ended up screwing Canada, because now if I ever want to buy something from the States, it has to go through. If I buy anything from the States, it has to be translated into French and translated into metric, which makes it also really difficult for the construction industry. It just adds piles of confusion on top of it. No, Nemo, I'm not going to say the N-word, even though you are a verified black person. Have you seen Stranger Things? I love it. Um, Stranger Things is so perfect that I've been trying to figure out anything that I felt was wrong with it, and the only thing that... There's only one thing that's wrong with Stranger Things, and it's they use the, uh, the like, inward camera angle like that, like, two times, two more than they need. That's the only problem that I have with the entire thing, which is phenomenal, so it's, like, the best thing ever. Um... America does everything better. Yeah. Favorite song to belly dance to? Uh, probably, probably belly dance music that you might not recognize. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, North and South video game. It started on the Commodore and Atari, and then they ported it to the NES. Oh, that's interesting. But how does it play like? Um, Quebec is a spoil of war. Uh, the thing about Quebec is that we should have we should have never let the French. Oh, we should nobody should have told the French that there was a North America or a South America. It was a mistake to let them in on that. Uh, who would win in a fight, Rambo or Commando? Rambo. Obs. Will you make anime real? No, I'm sorry, that would be degenerate. Uh, how does a loner weirdo at a new school get a girlfriend? Depends. Are you talking about high school? Because just don't even bother. Don't even bother dating in high school. It's not worth it. It's stupid. Uh, start lifting. <laughs> Go to fit. Take their advice. Get big and buff. <laughs> French Louisiana isn't bad. I don't know, but like you can't put a French person into an area and ever expect them to leave. They're just they're the worst house guests. How to get a girlfriend. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you how to girl get a girlfriend. Not like I've ever had a girlfriend. Uh, what is your deal? I don't know. Uh, will Trump make anime illegal? Uh, I think that would probably help with the degeneracy issue in the States. Uh, what is it? Have you ever played the Sonic video games? A very, very long time ago, back in like the Sega days, but I never had a Sega, so it was always at my friends' houses. Uh, I think I would just get compliments from guys. You know, no problem there. Just say no homo and you're fine. Can I use the vaccine? What do you think of anime avatars? Degenerate. I should probably get myself some coffee. Give me one minute. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'm getting coffee. Mario or Sonic? Mario. And yes, I pronounce it Mario, not Mario.
I've returned. Sorry. <laughs> Mods are gone. Po Please don't post cheese pizza in my stream. <laughs> no cheese pizza in my stream, friend. That would be sad. <laughs> uh, what is the meritocratic process we will use to win the heart of this fine young woman? I don't know. <laughs> Just shit post until I pay attention. She pronounces her T's nicer than anyone. I think that I have to. I've spent so much time just being a generic receptionist. I've done so much receptionist and secretarial work that I really have to. Um, and this sounds funny, but I've spent a lot of time doing reception receptionist work in a field where very few people have English as their first language, so I have to almost overpronounce things. So I'd be like, YouTube live stream, make archive unlisted when complete. You just have to be as <laughs> quiet as possible. Uh, Margaret, you're the best waifu the internet has ever created. Oh god, I came out of the internet. Oh. <laughs> well, Margaret, uh, wait on the guy that thinks she's worth marrying. A whole chat room full of them. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys like stuff? Oh, oh this coffee's good. How <laughs> to get noticed. I have money. <laughs> make Margaret an anime. Oh no, that would be horrendous. You'd have to make my hair bigger fave meme at the moment? I don't know, I'm still, uh, I don't know what the modern memes are. I, I still kind of laugh at, uh, what's that Luigi meme where he's just, like, staring at people? I still think that that's probably one of, like, the top ten funniest memes of all time. But, uh, I don't know. I also remember memes back in the days when they were called fads back in the year the man now dog days. So, you know what? <laughs> are you a Muslim in disguise? No. I'm good Catholic. Koala. I'm, I'm high quality. Oh, that was awful. Should the U.S. annex Canada? No, stay away. Who really did 9-11? Saudi Arabia. Muhammad Atta. Uh, what do you think? What is it? Uh, something about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? I don't really care about what the celebrities are doing with themselves. Uh, Margaret, do you have to adjust your diet when you got your ostomy bag? And if so, how do you only ask that I have a similar issue in adjusting your diet? Um, it took like six months before I stopped craving everything else that I ate. I basically just had to suck it up and deal with the new diet. And it just takes a very long time before you can readjust to the fact that you're eating something entirely different. And now I don't even really crave stuff that I used to eat. Like I haven't had a salad in years. Like I've just been slowly reintroducing like fresh fruits into my diet. I had some blueberries yesterday, but it made me really sick. So I'm probably gonna have some more today because they're still delicious. No, no, no. Canadians are so nice. Is there anything that makes you angry? Not using a coaster on a really nice... I'm not using a coaster here because this is just some crappy thing that I probably got from like Walmart and chopped half the legs off of. Eat salads for God's sake. No, don't tell me to eat salads. <laughs> I have a steady body weight and I'm strong. You, you don't have the right to tell me what to do with my diet. I will stick with my, uh, my whey. My whey and my bacon. My cheese. So, uh, there's one fruit fly attacking me. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. come to Belfast. That would be fun. I'd love to visit Ireland. Ireland. <laughs> yep, just, it is just one fruit fly bothering me. Oh my gosh. If you want good salad recipes, tell me I'm an amateur chef. Salad is terrible. Salad was a bad idea. There's nothing good in salad. People have to trick themselves into eating salad. You learn to eat salad when you're older. It's gross. Um, Uh, have you been to Australia? No, I'd love to. I haven't- I really have not traveled very much. I'm not a well-traveled individual. Do you drink Guinness? I haven't had Guinness in several years. I try not to drink carbonated beverages. Um, I try not to drink anything that's slightly too difficult to digest. Salad is gross. Stop lying to yourself. Nobody really likes salad. You just tell yourself that you like salad. It's not filling. It's- it's trash food. Salad is only good because you're putting things like cheese and almonds in it. What is your opinion on the Slavic people for real? Uh, well, I... Uh, their squatting is not... it's not really the best way to exercise. So that's my one opinion on the Slavs. I think that their squatting might be a little hard on their knees. Veganism is a cult. I don't understand vegans. Um, salad with fattening dressing, yes. Well, like, salad is just useless. Like, there's nothing in it. 
there's like from an evolutionary standpoint, like why on earth would humans ever bother with salad? It's just awful. What about soup? Yeah, I guess sometimes I'll have like pureed soups, but it really just kind of gets in my way. Do you like eggs? Yes, eggs are delicious. Uh, and Welsh comes from the old English word for slave slash foreigner. Really? Is that is that the old English word? What, well, what do the Welsh people call themselves? Like, the the name of the Welsh language is like Kiermari or something gross like that. Uh, Slabs plus Adidas equals forever. Do you like seagulls? No, they get in my way. They're all up in my biz. Uh, salad is good for bulking up meat. Salad is gross. It just kind of Salad is only good if you're eating a sandwich and you're having you have like normal person mayonnaise on it and like meat and cheese and stuff and then you put a bit of lettuce on top just to kind of keep the mayonnaise or pesto or whatever from soaking into your cheese. Mm. Soup is just hot salad water. This is true. Romaine lettuce with tomato and oil and vinegar is great. Yeah, but that's because you're eating the oil and vinegar. Romaine, you wouldn't eat romaine with tomatoes. That that would be gross. You eat that salad because it has oil and vinegar, because oil is delicious. Uh, Margaret, can you cosplay as an angel? I wouldn't know how, I'd just make a halo, I guess. <laughs> um, what do you think of turkey? I have no idea what to think of turkey. I'm not smart enough to figure out the turkey situation. What do you think of the McChicken? I, I avoided the McChicken tag as thoroughly as possible. <laughs> oh, hey, that guy, T. I still don't know what to call you, that guy T. <laughs> Use your name, damn it. <laughs> uh, do you drink whiskey? Uh, if so, neat or on ice. I usually take it neat and then I'll put a bit of water on top of it. Um, but yeah, I don't really like, I don't like cold whiskey or scotch. Have you ever had a McRib? No, I think that they ought to be illegal. Uh, what about ground beef? It kind of makes me sick, so I try to avoid it. Um, <laughs> What do you think, teen porn star? What? Is that sweater we a koala? I wish. I wish it was made of 100% real, thorough koala. Uh, have you been to Vermont? I've never been to Vermont. I'm not well-traveled. Everybody keeps asking me where I've traveled, but I'm really not well-traveled. I, the reason I, one of the reasons why I want to get into Twitch streaming is because I really want an excuse to travel around to more nerd conventions, because that's pretty much one of my favorite things in the world. In the world, going to nerd cons. So much fun. Do you smoke top-notch medical Mary Jane? No, I do not, because I do not need to. Because um, I take all kinds of other hilarious things that keep me from getting sick. Yes, and, the, <laughs> and Matt's there with the Simpsons lyrics. <laughs> uh, no, but you don't add water to whiskey. Well, it really depends. Well, there's, there is nothing wrong with adding a touch of water to whiskey. You know what? Like, I think you're crazy to uh, ixnay on the water to whiskey. You don't have to drink it. Like, I don't know why the why it has to be a cross between neat or on ice. Like, why not neat? Like, serve it to me neat and give me a bit of water on the side, and I will put my own water in it. I'll figure it out. Beer or wine? I'm going to say wine. There are some delicious beers out there, obviously. But I am a white woman. I love my wine. Whiskey or whiskey? It's all the same damn thing. It was originally a Gaelic word anyway, so who cares about the English spelling? Should we throw the leftists out of helicopter? Um, I feel like that is a reference to something I don't understand. Have you ever started a gig belly dancing and ended up twerking? No, I have not. Uh, I used to be able to twerk on my head. That was, that was interesting times. Uh, but yeah, after my surgery, I'm a little, I'm a little scared of that. But um, no, I don't think that uh, the Turkish guy who used to run the restaurant that hired belly dancers would appreciate twerking. Can you twerk for us? I could. I still need to figure out how to uh, do a tracer twerking video. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm actually trying to get back into the shape where I can twerk on my head again, and that's why I haven't made a twerking video in my tracer leggings yet. Maybe, maybe, not not saying that I've been working on anything. But, uh, ever had a Manhattan or a Rob Roy? Uh, I've had both of them before. I like, there's one or two bars in Halifax that do really, really decent, uh, like, mixed drinks. So whenever I'm there, I will get something fancy like a Manhattan or like a Rob Roy, or I like to get an old-fashioned, because everybody does them differently. Where is your sword? It's in my living room. Don't you need a gigantic bum for twerking? Hey, for a white woman, I'm doing pretty good back there. Are you a natural blonde? No, I'm... Uh, I just bleached my hair, but you can barely see it. I'm a natural, dirty blonde. Uh, <laughs> um, so, like, my color of blonde is just... The reason that my hair bleaches out so well is that the pigment that's actually in my hair 
is um, just really, really dark blonde. So I have to break out. I only have to bleach it for like 20 minutes and it takes very, very little work for that pigment to break down. And whatever is left over is just basically blonde person hair. And then I tone it and then it works out well. Um, you're not Tracer, you're Mercy. But I also have Tracer leggings. But uh, <laughs> the problem with the Tracer leggings, they're fantastic. But uh, after I wore them, like for the first time out on errands, I realized that they are completely see-through. So I need to find some uh, nude pant, nude underpants. <laughs> uh, is taxation theft? Oh, <laughs> no, no it is not. I'm not a libertarian. Conservative, damn it. This coffee's getting me all riled up. <laughs> A little water to whiskey is just fine, you monkeys. I agree. See, that person is correct. It's perfectly okay to put some water in your whiskey. Libertarian. <laughs> Don't you call me a cuck. Um, would you fight off a starving cannibal, Michael Moore? Uh, how would you fight off, I don't know, climb a tree? You've lost weight. Probably, yeah, because I've been eating more bacon and more things like fats. It's really funny um, being online because, uh, you know, every, like, if you're online all the time, people can tell if like you're in better shape or if you're like eating way too much Nutella, which is what I do all the time. Um, I've pretty much gone beyond the need of like having to be confused or sad if ever I like gain five or ten pounds and I'm still making things on the internet because because uh, unfortunately I care more about what my dietitian says than anyone else. <laughs> um, what else? I had a shirt like that, then I realized it was see-through, so I was embarrassed. Uh. Uh. But yeah, I've also been like just running and exercising more regularly and just, of course, adding more protein to the diet and being better at eating. Uh, actually, I got myself cookies last night. This is terrible. I literally have cookies by my computer because I'm a woman. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is what I do. It's very healthy. I would not copy all of my diet. I would copy part of it, not all of it. Mm. Fats are good for hair and nails anyway. Fats are just good for you as a person. You're supposed to be eating fat and you're supposed to be eating protein. They take all this effort to distill the whiskey then they get the bullshit water out of it. But that's, you're completely missing the point. You just, that, well you don't throw some tap water into it, my god, that's just, you're supposed to get spring water. Good grief. Have you ever killed a man? Maybe? I don't know. I hope not. As a cosplayer, you get used to see through shit really fast. Uh, oh my gosh, I was at a convention last year, and I was I'm like, normally I don't care what the hell people wear. Obviously, I don't care what people are wearing, but um, yeah, there was some woman there dressed up as uh, Lilu, like multi-pass Lilu, and you could clearly see every curve of her nether regions. And I was like, oh no, does she not realize that that's incredibly see-through? And I can see all of the things. So I actually poked one of our friends, I was like, please take your Lilu friend aside and tell her that I can see everything and everyone can see everything. It's just, um... <laughs> Have you ever killed a brony? Out of bronies people? I don't know, everybody riffs on bronies all the time. I don't know why. No, maybe, maybe bronies just have a really bad rap. I think that they're nice. You know what? Everybody's just mean to bronies. I don't know why. It, it's okay to be mean to bronies, though. It's okay to be mean to weaves, and it's okay to be mean to all these people on the internet. Weed or cocaine, both are degenerate. Don't do drugs unless your doctor gives them to you. <laughs> Salads do make people fat, this is true. Vegetables make you fat. So does sugar, I'm eating a cookie right now. Have you ever tried crack? No, I'm not degenerate. Um. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't understand My Little Pony until, what was it, two years ago, I was really, really sick with the flu. So whatever I was on, I could not process information at all. So it was like basically on my couch. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to watch My Little Pony. And it made total sense to me because I was in this like dreamlike state. And then later I went back and I watched a few minutes of it. I was like, what the hell am I watching? This is a toddler show. But uh, I don't know, I've watched a lot of, like I've spent a lot of time babysitting. So it's just, it really should have just been a toddler show that was meant so the babysitter won't want to kill herself after having to watch, you know, five hours of My Little Pony. That's pretty much it. Uh, are you racist against anyone? Just the French. AR-15 or Kalashnikov? Um, I'm gonna go for the AR-15. Even though, you know what, Kalashnikov was pretty cool for coming up with uh, that little rifle of his just basically in his backyard. Go him, what kind of cookie is that? I don't know, it says celebration on the side of it. 
I got it because it uses butter as the oil. Yeah, it's a um, milk chocolate, so sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate liqueur, milk, um, has soya, which is unfortunate, and vanilla in. No, oh, yeah, it uses uh, cocoa butter into the way. What else is it? And the rest of it's made of flour, sugar, butter, um, sodium bicarbonate, salt, soya, and artificial flavor. So it has less extra junk in it, that's why I bought it. What's your favorite anime? Um, oh, if I were snappy, I would have said Corrier. I, w I wish I were snappier so that I could say Cory in the house is my favorite anime. I apologize. Oh my gosh. <gasps> is it a brownie that Mr. Medica is doing a stream against? That is fantastic. Hmm. Would you date a French version of They Were All Right? No, it's even worse. Do you like Blazing Saddles or Young Frank? I've never seen Young Frankenstein. I've seen Blazing Saddles several times. R.I.P. What's his name? Um, are you planning on being a whistleblower for the privilege grant? I already did whistleblow, but I literally don't know anything else about it. Like, I was supposed to be involved in the grant, and then I kept missing... I probably missed, like, five or six or seven different, like, phone or Skype calls with Milo that I had set up to talk about the grant. And then, you know, after several months of not having your phone calls answered, you really have to just finally say, I can't be involved with this anymore because I can't do anything because you're not answering the phone. Also, I'm not getting paid. Also, I don't have a budget to do this. Please help. <laughs> Whatever happened with the grant things? I don't know. I kind of stopped paying attention to it. Hmm. Did you know that Mr. Medicare used to go by the name Internet Aristocrat? Yeah, well, Mr. Medicare, that's why, that's why I think he says, just call me Jim on the stream. So, uh... Because he's been doing this for like the last 10 years and he has all these different names. Yes, R.I.P. what's his name? <laughs> Where are all these Gene Wilder fan fans like last week? I don't get it. Everybody's just sort of piling on. I'm just sitting here slowly eating a cookie, <laughs> staring at my Twitter. Um, <laughs> R.I.P. Gerd Wilders. <laughs> um, what do you think of the anomalous star KIC and then a bunch of numbers? I don't know, I don't care about space. Where'd you get that green brand mug? From my cupboard. <laughs> How did you become internet famous? I don't know, I spent a lot of time inside shit posting. That's about it. I don't know, I haven't talked to Milo for a while. I don't know, after the grant thing, I'm kind of soured on it, and I'd kind of like to spend time away from politics for a while. Let the, let the Americans have politics. Is there such a thing as a meme being too dank? No. Um, memes, are, memes are an acquired taste. It's, it's like durian fruit. <laughs> you know, there's a point where most of society cannot handle it. Hmm posting is the best form of art. It really is. It, um, shit posting is wonderful because you can still you can be a really good shit poster even if you're anonymously posting. The best shit posting on Twitter are the people who tweet as if they're uh, anonymous. If you're not American, oh no, I'm so sorry. Yes, I am Canadian. It is pretty awful. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Like if you guys know who Picnic Face is, Picnic Face made a video about Halifax, and it tells you everything you need to know about Halifax. What's your opinion on so-and-so's meme reviews? I don't- why would anybody review memes? Like, do they taste the memes and tell you what- <laughs> What's happening? Um... So sorry. Stop making fun of my silly accent. I live near Halifax. Oh, please do not kill me. I went to Halifax once. Everyone was really nice. Aw, oh, that's nice. My heart is broken today. Sorry, it's not my fault I live in Canada. I was born here. What do you think about America? America's the best country. Like, I really like, <clears throat> like, uh... Ugh, my, I really have to sneeze. Oh no. Ugh. This is, this is just the worst. I'm like, ha. Ah. Uh, what was I talking about? Birthplace is not a life sentence. No, maybe someday I'll move to America, but you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, you don't like her accent, you should hear mine. Uh, who's the most important whistleblower? Uh, I don't know, a bunch of whistleblowers are actually anti-American, so, you know, Snowden is anti-American. Do a valley girl accent. Um, why do all the best anti-feminists live in Canada? 
Um, because we get a lot more pissed off about this stuff, because we have to pay for all their stupid, stupid bullshit more than you guys. At least in America, you don't have to pay so much for their stupid bullshit. In Canada, we have to pay for the stupid bullshit that the left co that, uh, cooks up. Will Milo ever release his Gamergate book? I don't know, but if you're ever reading Milo's Gamergate book, and if you just happen to really like the chapter on Anita Sarkeesian and Jonathan McIntosh, uh, I would really appreciate it if you would really like that one particular chapter that Milo wrote in his Gamergate book. Uh, what, sorry. <laughs> Poverty is sexist, this is true. I can't do an Irish accent, I'm bad at accents. Have you ever sneezed and had the bag fall off? No, it's, uh, the, uh, the material that, uh, that the bag attaches to my body with is, it's the same material that people who've had, like, third degree body burns are put onto them. It's, in, it's really difficult, like, you would have to, it's really, really difficult to take a bag off if you don't know how they're on thoroughly. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Whiskey, that is... Oh, yay. Um, Canada is like the UK. They're good at passive aggression. US people just shout loudly. That's why the best speakers seem to come from there. <laughs> Does Milo actually write anything himself? I think he used to. <laughs> Do you enjoy being asked about Milo every third question? Well, I guess I'm kind of used to it by now, but it would be nice if I could just slowly remove all this from my life. I just hope that I can bore people about uh, with all the Milo questions, and then they'll realize that they won't get any like personal information. So, you have to wear that bag for the rest of your life. No, I was only supposed to wear it for six months, but then I did not want to have the follow-up surgery. So, I'm one of the weirdos who does not have to have an ostomy bag, but totally doesn't mind living with it. What's your favorite whiskey? Bowmore 18. If I take the bag off, would you die? Um, you could take the bag off, but I would not recommend it. Uh, could you fit an M80? Why would I put a firework in there? That's a bad idea. <laughs> You're ahead in Canada. Uh, when we landed on the moon, we were the aliens, mind blown. What was the point of landing on the moon other than sticking your dick out to the Soviets? Like, really? Really? Like, I know that a lot of, uh, you know, interesting science came out of NASA, but it, it does get really tiring on how all these hippie leftists love NASA because it's so important to care about the stars and the stars and this and the asteroids you're pretty much just practicing scientific astrology. It's very, very silly. Has anyone complimented your bag? Thoughts on getting a Prada logo on it? Um, I know, I used to draw on it with like Sharpies and put sequins on it uh, when I would be dancing. But uh, no, sometimes people make comments about it, but I don't know if they're there for a fetish or what. Can you, can you smuggle things in your bag? Oh my gosh, I was, uh, I was in LAX a few years ago. Yeah, what would have been like two years ago, I think. I was in LAX. And I was going through, and I got selected for an enhanced pat down because I had a, uh, I had cosmetics on my hand that I guess I looked it up later. The cosmetics that I had, uh, yes, I love you, that guy T. The cosmetics that I had, uh, apparently I looked it up later, and it's really common for them to set this off. And they were obviously like, oh frig, just another like, you know, twenty something Canadian who had like, we whatever. So they went to like pat me down. And they totally did not seem to care about it because I was talking to the two women who were like closely patting me down, and I was like. So I have an ostomy bag, I just want to tell you about this. Uh, I was like, so, you know, if you have to, like, check around it, I was like, I don't know if you're used to dealing with this, and they wouldn't touch it for some reason. Uh, I could have smuggled anything in that thing. And, like, I thought it was really shocking and a really... Like, they did not verify anything with me. Like, they didn't ask to... Like, they couldn't tell that I had a scar on my stomach. They, they just let me go by with, like, a bag attached to me, and I'm like, you should probably look that up. You should probably take a look. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed a few of the questions up here because I was telling a uh, telling a silly story. Did Milo rob you too? No, but I'm owed money. Well, they uh, offered me money to work on the grant like six months afterwards. Uh, I was initially promised that I would get a, uh, a retainer to work on the grant and that never came through. And then in June, for the first time, they offered me money. But it was, they offered me $500 and that's not even rent. I would rather just disengage myself and not take the money. Um, have you ever had people hitting on you because of the bag? I hope not. I, uh, one surprising thing is that maybe it's because I'm older and I don't really attract jerks, but people don't always seem to really mind it. No. Um, whatever. Rebel Media with me, Margaret. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be a good fit with Rebel Media. I really like the people who work there, but I don't know. I, politics does get boring for me after a while. I do kind of like to stick to the cultural things. 
Um, I'm gonna drink some more coffee. Will you ask me some more questions? Is it difficult being intelligent? I'm really not even that intelligent. <laughs> um, so you could do the Lauren Southern show. I tried to get myself up there, uh, but I couldn't. What, I've never met Milo, so don't ask me what he smells like. I don't you know. Um, Gavin McGinnis needs to eventually stop taking Ritalin. I think that's his problem. He just takes way too much Ritalin and it makes him too angry. Um, what ended up happening with the privilege grant? I don't know. I, uh, I was initially called, like the timeline was that I was called in January and asked if I wanted to do something called this grant. This is before the privilege grant even had a name. Um, so I, like, I was supposed to be involved with it just because, uh, you know, to be perfectly honest, it's really funny to have a grant for straight white men run by a Canadian woman with a disability and the president was like a gay British guy. Um, so that was supposed to be done in January and that's when I was told that I would be given some sort of salary for dealing with it. So basically what I did is I wrote a big list of things that we had to do um, and then I always tried to do the things that we had to do. But uh, if, I, if I'm not given a salary and if I'm not given any software in which to securely put people's information and if I'm not given any indication that there is any charitable status going forward and if, I, and if I'm told that he'll be speaking to lawyers and nobody ever ends up speaking to lawyers, there's only so much that I can ever do. So. Uh, what's happening here? Yeah, so uh, it was pretty much just, I was given a long list of responsibilities, but then I was not given the money or any of the information on it. I literally, I wrote the copy for the website. Everything I know about the grant is was literally in the copy on the website. I know nothing else. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, enough with the Milo, but nobody else is asking me any other questions. <laughs> do I get paid for your right-wing fitness DVD Photoshop? No, you do not. <laughs> Sorry. Um, does Gavin really no longer masturbate? Well, he has a wife. Why the hell would he be bothering wasting his time jerking off? The grant was obviously just a gimmick. Um, I don't know. I honestly think that it started with very good intentions, and I always acted in good faith. But once you start canceling too many phone calls with the person who's supposed to be directing your grant, i.e. me, then uh, it just becomes troublesome. Uh, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, or PC? Definitely PC. I keep trying to play things in like PS4 and it's just strange and confusing, these controllers. Um, yeah, would you come to my channel to talk about anti-MGTOW? I don't know anything about anti-MGTOW, to be perfectly honest. I would not know what to say. I would have no, I would have no original input and that would just be a problem. Do you think Alex Jones is high on coke? I don't know. I can't believe Alex Jones is real. I never watch any of his videos, and I never read any of his articles. <laughs> uh, what was your favorite season? Fall time. What else? Ask me more questions, or else, on the, or else I'll run out of things to talk about. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, oh, Twitter. You were breaking the conditioning. <laughs> Do you watch Rick and Morty? Yes. There's supposed to be a new season coming out soon, isn't there? I, I watched the uh, the Rick and Morty San Diego Comic Con thing. But um, what's the deal with Paul Joseph Watson? I don't know. I think I, I I can't even remember if I follow Paul Joseph Watson's Twitter or if he's just constantly on my timeline. Like I don't really understand it. What is your favorite gun? All of them. Uh, who would win in a fight? Alex via Sank Yuga. I can't pronounce that guy's name. They would both have a heart attack. They are both overweight. Uh, do you like goat cheese? I love goat cheese. <laughs> Wasting time with disorganized people also makes me crazy. Uh, turtles or Power Rangers? Well, I was born in the 80s, so that's a really difficult decision to make. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show of, I don't know, Maury? I'm gonna say Maury, Jerry Springer. Um, you think she went head is ugly? I don't know, she does her own thing. <laughs> I don't care, She's, she does her own thing. I don't think she cares what I think about anyway. Um, have you watched Sam Hyde's, uh, uh, major, what is that? MDE, what is that? Million Dollar Extreme, that's what it's called. Uh, sorry. Do you identify as Aryan? No, I'm Celtic. Um, are you artistic? Do you paint and draw? I, I do all the things. I kind of, I like to dabble in all the stuff. Like, I dance and I can draw a little bit, and I don't, I don't really bother with painting, because that shit's expensive. Is there an oriental dancer which you'd recommend? 
Ooh, who? Which one? Uh, I'd love to have more Oriental dancer recommendations. Um, are you going to visit Ontario before the rest of us move out to Vancouver, too? I, don't, I, need to, I need to find an excuse to move out to Ontario. I've spent most of my time trying to chase after being stuff that I was owed by a blonde person. Um, so I'm really only starting to get back into making my own money right now. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Are you autistic? Do you like tendies? I've been tested and I'm not autistic. I'm not even on the spectrum. It sucks. I wish I had. I wish I could complain about uh, Anna Omi. I'll take a look at her right now. Um, I wish that I had the excuse of being autistic. I think that'd be funny as hell. But I think that I, I just have bad people skills. Uh, Dave online couple, Ralph and Nora, or shoe and skeptic. I'm gonna go for Ralph and Nora. I don't really. I don't really follow a lot of the atheism stuff, so I can't really comment on that. Uh, would you play Blizz as the Lost Vikings? Brilliant Dawkins. Oh my, like, Blizz is in Blizzard? Like, I thought the Blizzard only started in like 96, 97 for Diablo 1. Margaret is not on the spectrum. No, I'm not. Uh, how often do you listen to Johnny Rebel? I've never heard of Johnny Rebel before in my life. Do you eat halal? No, that is haram. Uh, will you save this stream? Yep. <laughs> uh, what is that high pitched hiss? Probably the oven. Uh, how much dedicated wham do I need for my Minecraft? I don't know. I've never played Minecraft before. I'm an adult. <laughs> Leave me my waifu. I, I can't answer that. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> are you nice in real life? I hope so. I, uh, I think I spend enough time online and doing live streams that whatever I'm like on live streams is probably exactly what I'm like IRL. Turn off the gas, Margaret. No, my roommate's making pizza. Let her do whatever the hell she wants. Uh, <laughs> Given that the multiverse is infinite, well, let's, why would I start with that given anyway? I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, do you turn the gas, what are you talking about? Best way to get, what? Oh, gross. Uh, do you even internet memes? Yes, I even. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Margaret, tell us something dank about you. Ask more specific questions or also totally get off kilter. Uh, have you tried a hot dog and waffle? That sounds gross. Uh, do you plan to stay in Halifax for the long term, or are you going elsewhere? Um, I keep wanting to move away from Halifax, but um, with my health, I'm just, I don't really have the option to move. Uh, I keep getting sick so constantly that I really, it's not worth it for my health for me to pick up and go somewhere else because I have so many doctors here. Uh, so for God knows how long, I'm pretty much just stuck here. <laughs> um, what else? Don't let your memes be dreams. Favorite philosopher? I'm just gonna go for uh, Plato's Socrates. Not Plato slash Socrates, Plato's Socrates is probably the my favorite. Uh, is your roommate aware that you're an alt-right extremist icon? I hope so, I should probably tell her at some point. Uh, have you ever watched Filthy Frank? I've watched a few of his things, like I'm subscribed to his YouTube channel, but I don't really quite understand what he is or what he does. I don't, I don't understand what a lot of these young kids are watching on the YouTubes these days. Do leftists understand economics? No, they do not. Leftists do not understand that uh, the market is not all about short-term gain. Leftists always think that market is just about exploiting things for right now, and as if anybody who's involved in a sort of capitalist system has no idea that what they're doing now might have an effect 200 years from now. You know, if the government, it's not as if if you put the government in charge or something, the government's not going to do what's going to get it votes in the next. Uh, round, the, the gov if you put the government in charge of something, they're also gonna they're gonna screw things up worse because they're gonna do things immediately for votes. If you let a capitalist take care of something, they're going to want to continue to pull wealth out of that piece of land or out of that lake or whatever for the longest time. Um, oh yeah, oh perfect, yes. <laughs> I can't move to Ontario. I don't know all the doctors. I I really really like Vancouver actually. Uh, Vancouver's gorgeous. Uh, my grandfather would call me conservative. Does that make sense to you? No, it does not make any sense. Okay, I'm in love with you again. Yay! Even though I'm a filthy Canadian. <laughs> uh, you keep saying you're not young. I'm 29, but uh, I've always stayed out of the sun, so I look very young. I do not look like a catcher's mitt. Would you like a neck rub? Um, my roommate's a massage therapist, so I'm, I'm alright for neck rubs. Thank you. What would you wish your generation understood? I don't know, that's a good question. It's, it's kind of hard to say. I wish that these millions of people all understood this one thing. Do you like universal health care? No, it's a great way to die. What incentives do doctors have to go to Canada? I don't know, if you grew up in Canada and you like living in Canada, then you just kind of stay here and you're just, you know, forced to do whatever the hell Canada says you can do. Burkini or thong? 
Um, both are just as welcome in Turkey. I hear that Turkey is an incredibly secular country where you can wear both of those things. Um, what else? You do not look 29. You're almost 30. Yeah, pretty much. Um, my cousins live in Canada and often go to Cuba on holidays. Have you ever been? No, I really don't go on holidays. I don't have money for holidays. <laughs> I spend all my money on medical supplies. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all my money is on medical supplies and new computer parts. Uh, do you think the Ferengi were supposed to be Jews or just generic capitalists? Um, probably both. It's just, it's like, un they're uncomfortably stereotypical. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite dog breed? Uh, I don't know, all of them. They're all so cute. Um, how do you put up with degenerates if you do? Well, we're all degenerates. We're all in this together. <laughs> Uh, has universal healthcare helped you out at all, though? Uh, well, it's nice to know that I don't have to spend, you know, tens of thousands of dollars on things, but no, I'm pretty sure that if I did not have to suffer through universal healthcare, I probably would have had to diagnose a proper diagnosis of ulcerative colitis when I was like 14 or 15 and not having to wait until I was 26 and ha mostly dead. I feel like as if I were an American, I would have been able to uh, get through to doctors who had more time for me. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for almost two hours. <laughs> uh, where's your frame, this is a framed and signed Wayne Gretzky photos? Oh my gosh, I, uh, <laughs> I was actually out for a, a drink on Friday with one of my friends who has taken photos of Wayne Gretzky, <laughs> which is uh, actually pretty funny. Um, how much Scottish are you? I'm all of the Scottish, except I'm one of the blue-eyed Scots from like the Highland area, which meant that there was a lot of Viking rape going on, but could you afford it? Um, I'm pretty sure that if I had lived in America, I would not have been overtaxed, and I probably would have been uh, getting proper healthcare insurance beforehand. What does Milo think of ulcerative colitis? I don't know, I never asked. Uh, <laughs> how do you remove kebab? I don't know. It's very difficult. How to remove kebab? I don't know, probably nukes. You're not an Oilers fan, are you? Um, I don't know, they were doing pretty good a few years back, but I'm bound. I, I have to be a Maple Leafs fan, I'm sorry. Um, when they removed your intestine, was it replaced with anything? Nope, not at all. <laughs> what other countries have you been to? Just America. I, I'm not well-traveled at all. <laughs> I need to get myself invited to things just so I have an excuse to go places. Um, all the good Brits are secretly Vikings. It's true. It's like I was saying a lot earlier. Uh, the funniest thing about being Scottish is that the English had a commonwealth over the entire world, except they couldn't get rid of us filthy Scots from their teeny tiny little island. Most degenerate thing you've ever seen that you really wish you hadn't. I don't know, I've spent a lot of time on the chans. It, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to hurt me. I discovered something called fanny packing on the chans the other day. It, uh, it involves a quadruple amputee. Uh, don't look it up. <laughs> Does losing your intestine make you weigh significantly less? No, it does not. Uh, an empty large intestine, just the tissue, should only weigh like three pounds. So it really does not affect my weight very much. Um, how can a capitalist society prosper with near a zero percent interest? What is that? Is that something? Is that like? Is, is that even real? <laughs> uh, we just push the Celts to all the shit parts. No, well, the Celts already lived in the shitty parts, and we lived up there with the, uh, with all the Viking rape and the Picts, and we were doing fine there, and we, the English could not get past our shitty little Hadrian's Wall. Uh, can you push your belly right in if there's no guts in the way? No, it's just, like, the large intestine is kind of like the framing mechanism. So. What else? Who's, oh, I'm kidding. Oh, oh, perfect, one of my buddies is coming back from Montreal tonight. Yay, I should go. I should go visiting. I hope he doesn't want to pick up from the airport. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, Celts were the master race. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say, but it's really difficult to... Uh, just don't bother. Don't try to fuck with the Celts. The Celts are the people who come up with things like Adam Smith and David Hume. We're pretty goddamn smart people. Uh, why don't you get an augmented stomach? Og lives matter. <laughs> I should get a chip in my stomach and just start claiming to be an augmented person. Uh, where would you travel if money were no problem? Uh, probably us. Mm, yeah, maybe Austria, but I don't know how the kebab are doing over there. 
seen Max recently? No, not recently, but uh, this is Halifax. I'll probably run into him at some point. Um, I also drew all sort of colitis. Yay! Uh, do you really think that it was bad or you just fell through the net? Uh, my problem was that I was getting sick when I was in high school. Uh, yes, definitely come see every um, come see everybody. Short pet otaku, including me. Um, with my ulcerative colitis, my problem was is that I had like my GP at home, and she would take care of some things. But then I was also away at university, so I'd keep seeing all these doctors who did not give a damn. All these drop-in clinic doctors. And basically, if you're an 18-year-old woman and you go to a drop-in clinic doctor and say, I'm really sick and I'm throwing up a lot, what's wrong? They're just going to tell you that you're pregnant and they won't believe anything else otherwise. Uh, and if you just keep going in every month and you're like, I'm still really sick and I'm throwing up and I can't eat food, they're just going to keep calling you a whore. Uh, so it's just really not a useful system. Uh, if you go on a Viking raid, where did you go? Oh, it would be, oh my gosh, I'd love to go on a Viking raid. I don't know. There's a... In my, in my city, we have Halifax and Dartmouth across from the harbor. I'd probably raid Dartmouth, because you're not- everybody is supposed to hate Dartmouth. How cancerous would you rate this chat from 0 to 10? I don't know, I'm gonna say 5. <laughs> Just enough cancer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sounds like feminism was right, Margaret, slut-shaming. Yeah, uh, when do we physically remove the leftists? I don't know, they'll remove themselves from the gene pool, none of them want to have kids. What's your favorite war? Um, this is a good question. In a second Punic War. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're not going, doing a good enough job then. I don't know, it depends. As long as it's a benign cancer, you're allowed to go to up to seven on the cancer scale. <laughs> Final solution to the leftist question. Final solutions don't work. Uh, People have been asking, I'm not answering any questions with the JQ, that's just craziness. What's your opinion on We Hunted the Mammoth? I have no opinion. I think they quoted me or like, or something on that, I forget. Um, why aren't you producing strong alt-right sons? Nobody wants to marry me, that's why. I live in a town full of lefties. I'm a terrible conservative and I spend a lot of my time on the internet and I spend a lot of my time being sick. It's uh, not conducive to dating. Have you ever tried a McRib? How big is your girl dick? Uh, huge. How big? Oh, he's been writing hit pieces about you? Why? What's... But you're so innocent. <laughs> um, well, like, I was never around during, like, the first, like, six to nine months of Gamergate, so I missed all of that lovely cancer, and that was fun. Is it true they sell lobster McDonald's in Canada? Uh, yeah, in, like, the Atlantic provinces, you can get, like, a Mick lobster, except nobody buys it, because... Lobster is gross. I don't know anybody would ever want lobster. Hole up, we damn boys. Is that is that what you're gonna say? McDonald's lobsters for sale in New England seasonally too. Oh, that's cool. I I honestly don't understand why the maritime provinces did not. Uh, the maritime provinces really should have just hung out with the New England states, and we should have just been our own country. It made so much more sense. We have so much in common. Uh, what else? Margaret, how much money would you have to be paid to watch the McChicken? Uh, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> Did you watch Trump's speech in Mexico? No, I watched part of his speech last night, but I was also, like, just out of the shower, not really paying attention. Uh, were you surprised to, well, you've accepted what has come into your life? Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty chill. <laughs> Things just happen. Honestly, to this day, I still have no idea what Gamergate even was. I agree. People still get mad about it. I agree, I don't know, everybody's just so... Why, why is everybody so sensitive, man? Uh, pork or cow meat? Um, it depends. I don't really like pork chops, but I do love bacon. Uh, cured pork is probably delicious, and cow meat is just, in general, delicious and fatty. Uh, I can't really fan that Phil Fish laundered a few hundred thousand bucks for the Indie Games Festival. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, shitty. But then he set up legal action. Well, what a dick. That's just terrible. How can anybody possibly like Phil Fish as a person or as a designer? <laughs> just, I, I feel as if Gamergate it was just set up against like one or two people. Like, it just if Zoe Quinn had just like quit whatever the hell she was doing and went back to like her rich white lady, like Chelsea Vander, whatever the hell her last name is, and just took an office job somewhere, things would have been fine. 
What do you think about vegans? They're wrong. Uh, Phil Fish is just detestable, yeah. You like Korean barbecue? I've never had Korean barbecue. Uh, what is life? I don't know. I don't know what life is anymore, I'm sorry. Um, I know very little about him except he's a dick to his fans and that he's just a shitty person when he talked on panels. Yeah, I was first introduced to the wonders of Phil Fish on that uh, indie game, the movie, that documentary. I really like that. Why are you always sick? Because I have an autoimmune disease and my body is constantly trying to kill me. Um, yes, I do like head pads. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm always sick. I have an autoimmune disease, so my body's always trying to kill me. Uh, I've had enough surgery that I pretty much have, I have very little immune system left. I do not have the same immune responses than anyone else. So when everyone else is getting a cold or a flu, I get it like 10 times over. It's just awful. Um, what's the one thing you've done that you've regretted that's funny in your life? I don't know. I don't spend too much time talking about all the things that I've regretted. Canadian whiskey or scotch? Actually, there is one whiskey in Canada that has earned its right to call itself scotch. It's called Glenora. Let me drop some unfortunately unprovable stuff. Zoe Quinn used to scam people and wow for real money. Oh, that's just trashy. Then immigrated to Canada for two years to escape prosecution. Is that why she lived in Toronto? Because a lot of these people seem to have lived in Toronto for a while. Uh, thoughts on abortion? Oh, that's always an interesting one. Uh, two things about abortion. Uh, it's murder and it should be legal. Do you actually have ASMR with that video you made? Just a joke. I don't. I do not get the response. So it was just kind of like a joke, funny video because obvious ASMR Donald Trump tweets that total like <laughs> you know one on on one side Trump just like yelling versus ASMR which is oh god etc. Did you watch the classic Canadian film Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter? No, I did not. Um, is it on YouTube? Is it like a trauma film? I don't get it. Well, it. Yeah, it would have to be like a trauma film if it were Canadian, not a trauma film. Uh, that video triggered people, didn't it? I think so. So you're like Bubble Boy, pretty much. Please wash your fucking hands as often as- please don't go in public if you're sick. You're really, 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 really ruining the days for a lot of people with autoimmune diseases. Uh, da -da -da -da. Can we get Phil Fish ASMR? Oh god, then he'd be on my tracks. I don't I don't want to be anywhere near that filthy law cow. Did you see Jill Stein's Harambe tweet? I, I think it's really inappropriate for Jill Stein to uh, take the Lord of our <laughs> the, take the name of our Lord and Savior Harambe in vain like that. Will the twenty sixteen campaign become a movie? It'll probably become several movies. There's probably already shit in the works on Netflix. Ricky, I'm moving to Toronto and I'm gonna be a street person. <laughs> um I should probably get wrapped up here, because I've been doing this for two hours right now. When does that Zoe Quinn movie come out? Ha ha ha. Well, as I'm sure we all know, Zoe Quinn had her book deal, uh, Ixnade. No, no, more, no more such thing as a book deal. It was probably just given to her so they could write her like a, uh, a $25,000 advance check without her actually having to do any work. So. Okay, I still need to finish my coffee. But if you guys have any last questions, now is the time to ask me. You ain't got nothing else to do. Uh, maybe I'll go visit my friend. It's like two hours until he's back from Montreal, so that gives me time to nap. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite book? Um, I don't know. I started reading a book by Roger Scrunchen today, and it's really good. Do you like Rage Against the Machine? Are, are they, do they even still, do they still tour or anything? I don't know, like I remember, yeah, like, uh, it's been like 20 years since their albums were coming out. <laughs> Margaret McLennan, the movie, who is starring? Hopefully Margaret McLennan in the Margaret McLennan story. Uh, I think Zoe's movie deal was cancelled, actually. It was too unrealistic. Yeah, though I don't think they would ever waste ScarJo on something like ZQ. Uh, what is your favorite thing about Scandinavia? I don't know, they're so far away from me. Most hated coffee? I love all coffee. Do you pluck your eyebrows? Yes, I pluck the daylights out of them. <laughs> How do you feel about Chad's? Um, you know, everybody's always getting mad at Chad, but instead of getting so mad that Chad exists and he lifts so often, why don't, why don't you uh, try working out a bit too? Hmm? Do you like horror flicks? Yes, I do. I love trauma. Uh, what's your opinion of the upcoming female Rambo movie? Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> um, okay, last question. Margaret, when will you play Overwatch with me? Uh, I haven't played Overwatch in a couple of weeks because everything in my life has been crazy. Uh, when do you want to play Overwatch? Uh, do you want to stream at some point in the next few days? 
You just have to give me like a few hours notice and then I'll be totes ready to play Overwatch. Thanks for your time, it was fun. Thanks for thanks everybody for listening to me for the last two hours. Is Tim Warren's coffee the reason Canadians are so nice? It's a pet theory. No, it's just because we all know each other, so we have to be nice to each other. What do you think about fat people? Um, there are so many different like actual dietary and like fat patterning diseases out there that you know it's impossible to say like one large thing about everybody's weight. So, I don't know, just write down your calorie intake for a week. See how that makes you feel. Uh, looking forward to your Twitch streams. Yeah, um, oh no, the video stream froze? That sucks. Uh, so I'm gonna check in with my friend, see what time he's gonna be home. Then if not, I might be back to play on Twitch to play the uh, Canadian game that I was playing last night. Uh, Sure, I, I want to do more streams. I'm trying to do them at least like every two weeks. Right now I'm just on like a monthly schedule for them. Oh, well, I think that I just need to have more things to actually talk about. So I should probably start watching videos on stream and then streaming at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, P.O. Box for sending stuff. I do have a P.O. Box. Um, I've gotten some very strange things uh, in my P.O. Box. <laughs> also some very lovely and nice things. Uh, all my P.O. Box info is listed in my, uh, my channel's about section. Huh, that's what it is. Still waiting for my liquid cooling system to come back from being repaired. Oh yeah, soon. It's, uh, it's slightly too hot to be going without a, uh, cooler master, so streams are fun. What, my Twitch name is Margaret's Belly. What's the worst thing you've gotten in the P.O. Box? Um... I almost don't even want to say because I've gotten some very strange and frightening things, <laughs> and like, and I'd just rather not talk about it online. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway, can't wait. I also can't wait for my PC to be built, so I can play games with better graphics. I'll get there soon. Hopefully, with all my Patreon dollars in the next, like, after I make sure rent is paid, uh, then I will be able to finish building my computer in the next couple of weeks, and that'll be fun. I can't wait. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to figure out how to exit on out of this. I think that I just had to stop it in my OBS. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks everybody for uh, showing up and listening to me ramble for two hours. Good night. Um, yeah, maybe I'll be on Twitch later, so just just keep an eye out.